Hi, this is the first uh, project you're doing as part of CNMS 111, and it is a Photoshop grid of 25 images. And uh, it's also the first opening project for students at Maine College of Art. So you're getting um, some kind of cool experience right off the bat. Anyway, as you can see, you're creating a grid of 25 different pictures. This grid is 10 inches by 10 inches, and each image is two inches, so five across and five down. When you get all the images cropped and placed in here, what you're going to do then is add a series of adjustment layers. In this case, these are hue saturation layers. There are 25 layers, one for each and every image. And you're going to adjust the, the hue and saturation in some pattern. In this case, I made it from kind of very oversaturated red down to desaturated with some blues and purples in between. How you do it is your call. Let's get to work. The first thing you're going to do is go to Photoshop and click File, New. And you're going to be making a new document, and I already have one, but just so you see how it works, change this to inches, and we want this to be 10 by 10. Resolution is 180, we'll make it 300. Um, that's not a big deal, but we'll just keep it there. Okay, so this is our document, all right? And this is what will be the grid. This is 10 inches across by 10 inches wide. I can go to the view. I can zoom out to make this a little more manageable. And we'll do this for the moment. I'm going to start by saving this. And I want to put this right in uh, my working folder. So I've already made a folder um, on the desktop. And it's not showing up right here. So let's track it down. It's on the desktop, um, and it should be called Dave Photoshop. I actually made a folder for my desktop. And so there's a folder in here with my name, Dave Boardman Photoshop, and inside here is the grid folder. And that's where I'm going to save this. So now before I do anything, I know my document is saved and my things are where they want to be. I went to the website unsplash.com. And that's where I want you to go. And I downloaded 25 images from the textures and nature pattern section. Um, here's a sample image. OK, so just kind of really cool stuff. To open this in Photoshop, a really cool way to do it is to just click on the image and drag it over onto the Photoshop icon. And you'll see that now in my Photoshop window, let me get rid of my first grid here. You'll see in my Photoshop window, I have two things. I have my document and I have this photo. Now, I want to do a couple of things. I want to crop this photo so that it is exactly two inches wide by two inches tall. So all I'm going to do is click on the crop tool. And that brings up this window. Now, when you first bring it up, it's probably going to say ratio or width by height by resolution. I want you to change it to new crop preset and give it a name. We can call it grid preset. That would work just fine. And now in here, enter two by two. And this is very high. 300 is, is really high. It doesn't need to be that high, but we'll, we'll leave it there for the moment. OK, that's the resolution. So now you'll see that I have this kind of grid has appeared, which is two by two. And I can move my photo to get just the right section I want. Let's say I want it right here. Of course, you want to make sure you fill this. If you have it off, you're going to have a bad photo. So make sure it fills it. And then just hit the return or the Enter key. OK, so I still have two things. I have my blank document, and now I have this. I want to get this picture on this document. So here's how to do it. Let's go ahead and click the little Move tool, and just click this and drag it down so it now becomes a separate window. All right, 
put my cursor right on the uh, picture and drag it out. And now I have a two by two image right on my grid and I can place it right there. It'll snap right in any corner. And then we'll do it again. We'll find another image. Let's grab this one. Same thing, drag it on the Photoshop icon. It opens, click the crop tool. And now, if you notice, I have this preset. This came up for me automatically. So now I can just kind of, oh, let's kind of make it a little symmetrical right there. And I think I like that. I'm going to hit return, and I now have that. Change my tool, drag my picture down, and pull it right out. And now I have this. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. And you'll notice that as I'm doing this, I'm adding layers. So I try to stay organized so I know which layer is which. If I want to be really um, organized, I could rename these, but I'm just going to leave them as layer one and layer two. And I'm going to tell myself I'm going to work across this way. So I'll know that when I get to layer three, it's going to be right here. You can find a way that works for you.